Hello, hello, it's Donna here coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Today I'm going to make a fun, fishy slimline card. And I'm starting out with the patterned wave stencil from Paper Rose. Now this stencil isn't big enough to cover the whole card. And so I've worked out a little trick to get around that. Well, a series of several tricks really. This panel is about eight and a half inches by four inches. That's roughly 21 and a half centimetres by 10 centimetres. But I'm going to trim it down just a little bit later. First of all, I'm going to use some washi tape on the back to attach this stencil and use a little bit of post-it tape to mask off the area at the bottom so that I don't get any unwanted ink on that part of the card. And I'm going in with my Versamark ink pad and just dabbing carefully so that I don't squish any ink underneath the stencil all over that area. Once that's done, I'm going to remove the stencil and the extra tape because I know that the embossing powder will stick to that and give me all kinds of mess and cover the whole thing in embossing powder from WOW. This colour is called Under the Sea and it's a green colour with lots of sparkle to it. There's a tiny bit of sticky residue left behind where I've peeled off the post-it tape and so I'm just going to use a paintbrush to clean that up before heat setting the powder. Because of all the little bits of glitter in this powder, I'm working from the back first so that I don't blow the glitter all around my room and just mostly setting it from the back before giving it a final burst from the front. Next I went and washed and thoroughly dried my stencil so that there was no sticky ink on it before starting the second half. This time I remembered to use the anti-static powder which would have been great the first half but it's even more important now because this is where the post-it tape was. And what I've done is I've lined up and then flipped over the stencil so that the dots line up with dots and the stripes line up with stripes. And you'll see when it's done that I get a roughly lined up pattern. You'll also see that all that care I took to make sure I didn't blow the powder all over my room was lost when I tipped the whole thing over on my desk. What you can't see is that the whole mess is still just hiding under that piece of paper. I've just pretended it's not there. When we moved into our house in Japan, we were given these little roller sticky sheet things that I haven't used a lot for cleaning, but they turned out to be perfect for getting all the extra glitter up. The feature images for this card come from four different stamp sets, all from Paper Rose. The fish that you see me colouring here is from a stamp set called Fish and Bubbles. This stamp set features this fish in three sizes, facing in two different directions. All of the other fish, crabs, starfish, etc. come from a stamp set called Mermaid Magic. The seaweed is not actually seaweed at all, but a cactus from a stamp set called Cactus Greetings. In that stamp set, the cactus actually sits in a pot, but I've stamped and cut it so that all you can see are the leaves, and I've used those as my seaweed. Once the images were coloured, I've cut them out. I have matching dyes for some of the pieces, but those fish I just cut out by hand. To add some sparkle to the fish, I used clear hologram sparkle embossing glitter from WOW and this glitter melts on like a normal embossing powder and when you look at it from a certain angle you can see nothing much but a regular clear embossing powder look but then if you change the angle the hologram aspect shows up and you get all these different blues and purples shimmering across the top of your image. You can see through it so it doesn't really change the colour of your image unless you're in the right light. I'll try and capture that for you. And you can see here me twisting fish around in the light to try to capture that sparkle on camera. Next, it's a matter of working out what arrangement I want. The only thing I knew for certain was that the seaweed would go down the bottom, obviously, and that I needed something across that line where the two halves of the stencil didn't quite line up. It's pretty close, and I think perhaps it's something that only I would have noticed, but I was pretty sure that I wanted to cover it. So initially I have my big fish across that line, but once I'd done my sentiment, I changed my mind and put my sentiment there. The sentiment is in two halves. The first part says swimming by to say, and I've heat embossed that with white powder on black card. The second half of the sentiment, the hello, is from a die from Paper Rose Studio with the very long name of Hello Chunky Double Layered Metal Die. I've used all three layers of the die, but the two matting layers I've done in white because I didn't want my card to be too busy. To make the word hello, I used the same pinks that I used on my fish and coloured a little scrap of paper. I cut the hello out of this so that the colours would match nicely with the rest of the card. To assemble the card, I've cut down that stencil panel just a little bit and added in a panel of a nice dark sea green. I've put foam tape on the bottom of everything that's going to go on the front of the card 
with the exception of the cactus seaweed. And then it's just a matter of finding a layout that I like and gluing everything down. I'll swirl that card around a little bit more and try and catch the light for you. And then I'll leave you with some photos of the finished card, which once again I've taken from all different angles, just trying to capture what the card looks like in different lights. If you've enjoyed this video, please press the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see what's coming next, then please subscribe. Thank you for spending your time with me. Stay safe, everybody.